Hey Soul Family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I'm your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader. I'm doing the darn thing today for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. Good to see you guys. Thank you for being here. I'm going to go ahead and jump directly into the reading. You guys kind of already know the likes, the subscribes, all that good stuff, where to find the things. All right, so let's just go ahead and do this. All right, Scorpio. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of the cards out on the table, and then we're going to talk about it get it <laughs> we're gonna talk about it i'm just being corny today i've been up since like five o'clock in the morning messages here for scorpio please scorpio i love y'all i'm a scorpio rising messages that scorpio needs to know here mid october to the end of october please what does scorpio need to know for their highest good Please, Spirit. Okay, one more, please. So, guys, in the meantime, please, this is very general energy, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Not all of this reading is going to resonate for every single person. It just can't, all right? So whatever little nugget is yours, take that nothing resonates for you please check your moon and rising and if those don't do anything for you please definitely feel free to check another reader because i may not be your person today and that's perfectly okay that's it that's all right what else do we have here for scorpio please what does scorpio need to know wow scorpio very interesting What else do we have here for Scorpio, please? Okay, I feel like that was there. Okay, that's a grip. Oh, Scorpio, are we interested in somebody? <laughs> All right, what do we have for overall energy for Scorpio, please, for the end of October? Hmm. Some of you could have some creative stuckness or you're deep in thought trying to see a person uh, from a new perspective or you're seeing somebody from a new perspective, okay? Or a new creative project from a new perspective. We're going to talk about it, okay? <laughs> Legit, I must go get a taco today because I keep clowning about freaking tacos. Alrighty then. All right. So let's get into it, Scorpio. Thank you so much, spirits, all my spirit guides, all my relations for being here with me today. Huh. We have some sort of interesting energy here. You introverted, extroverted Scorpios are like confusing the F out of me right now. Okay. Cause I got the hermit and the sun. Can you, I get it. I'm also an introverted extrovert. All right. But this has to do with something that could be a message. Um, so cause we have the page of swords out. So I almost feel like there's just two sides to you Scorpio and people are seeing the both sides and there's nothing wrong with that okay um, you're relaying messages about who you are it could be over the internet what you do and what you're about you're happy you're feeling very good but you're also a deep contemplative person Scorpio um, and it shows people see that about you that it's not just you know uh, what people would consider a typical Scorpio like a mean-spirited person I, I hear that a lot like Scorpios are like the scorpion you know stingy people Scorpios are very uh, creative people they're very deep people they have deep rivers okay their, their river runs deep all right um, and they can also have very deep loyalty I I know that for sure so I almost feel like this has to do with opposite sides of the spectrum and people seeing that about you that you're very like a well-rounded you know culturally 
kind of interesting person, right? And people are recognizing that. I feel like somebody is messaging you with very good news um, that may sort of wake you out of a place that you've been in for a long time where you've been thinking about things, meditating, that kind of stuff with the hermit and the sun here, okay? So you have Leo energy, you have the hermit Virgo energy. Could be a type of collaboration to of because Virgo for some reason always has to like they're like independent but they like to work well with people is what I feel like from this energy like working with other people all right and then a page of swords so a message coming through this could also be like somebody blocking you looking at you watching you that type of thing on the internet seeing the dynamic kind of individual that you are now we have the tower the moon and the seven of swords so i'm kind of like what the fuck like i don't know um somebody there's something that it's like a very quick thing happening here and it almost feels like tempers flaring okay so you could be having some issues where you're feeling like I'm kind of in the middle of something and I don't necessarily know how to get out of this thing and this could be for one or two of you okay feeling stuck in the middle of something because the seven of swords can represent somebody who's trying to get away with something but they have a foot in the in the past a foot in the present and the foot in the future and a foot in the present okay so maybe trying to handle a lot of things all at one time maybe trying to work in three different realms here if that makes sense for some of you um it's like using your past to create your future but being in the present and maybe feeling some confusion about where you need to go from here okay uh, but I do also feel that for some, there was some element of uh, joy and happiness here that kind of maybe got crushed by something that was a little bit unexpected, all right? And it could have to do with people taking advantage of you, um, trying to get away with things behind your back and thought you didn't know about it. But these, they didn't know. Okay, they didn't know that you have a very powerful intuition here. You could be having dreams, very powerful dreams as well here, Scorpio, um, about things that you need to you need to either rebuild or just let go of. You need to get out of your life, okay? I think that some of you got some enemies. Um, and, and not enemies in the sense that people that would like do you harm, like bodily harm. You have emony, emonies. Do you want an emina? Enema? Emena. This happens every single retrograde. Every Mercury retrograde cannot talk. Sorry, guys. So I think you have enemies in the sense of people being jealous of you and what you're about because it's like people watching you right spying on you people are spying on you and they're doing it because they want to be like you they want to take the the gift of who you are the um what's the word that i use the uh the well-roundedness the the culture the vibe that you have of like that introverted extrovert like you're always kind of a mystery but then you're not you know like you switch things up you're just an interesting individual right now to people Scorpio and so people see that and they want that so I'm feeling that sort of like energy of people wanting to you know be like you take advantage of you do things say things behind your back or whatever right so you have some enemies in the camp right enemies in the camp so be aware be aware that people could be very jealous all right um scorpio what else all right seven of pentacles six of cups and the two of wands hmm you're waiting for something you're waiting for something or you're waiting for somebody else to make a decision or you're making a decision about something you you know for some of you scorpio i feel like this there's a little bit of touch of romance going on here okay so um 
I feel like there could be some interest you have in somebody here. They could be a person from your past. And maybe I almost feel like you're contemplating, like you're looking out the window, like, hmm, once in a while, like this person catches your thoughts or something, right? And you're like, hmm, I wonder what would it be like if, right? If I did something with this person, if I told them, you know, there's this companionship you may be reminiscing about somebody here too but this feels more like you have a, a genuine interest in somebody and it goes through your mind like the possibility of what could happen with this person if maybe you decided to kind of maybe invest right let them know right some of you this is you know you are working you're growing things you have a lot of decisions to make and you're doing a lot of reminiscing and some for some of you reminiscing is actually a creative space for you i don't even know why i'm saying this so i know that this is a message for at least one person but daydreaming right so i feel like you're daydreaming and when you daydream is when you create these things um like like portraits in your mind right so some of you have very powerful imaging processes where you where you can create a reality based on what you sit and visualize okay and it's not even like you're trying it's just you have this imaginative type of you know you could stare off and like magic happens because you do that does that make sense hopefully that makes sense to somebody okay but it's like some of you take that and you actually do something with it. You create with that, which is really beautiful energy. For others of you, I feel like this is that same sort of energy of like seeing what might happen if you decided to like chill with a person. You know what I'm saying? All right. We then have the five of wands. I want to get another card here. Five of wands and the king of swords because this is like what? We go from all this really interesting energy, but I feel like this is the conflict, okay? So being really upset with somebody, I feel like somebody lied to you. Yep, somebody lied to you about something here, okay? It could be at work. Uh, it could be in a friend circle, um, people that you're talking to, right? So you may be a little bit hush-hush, but you're a truth bringer, right? So when people bring some bullshit, you're going to be like, nah, son, no, that's not the way it goes, all right? So there's some sort of disagreement here creatively with people. This could be on your job or something like that. Y'all just don't have the same types of ideas, you don't have the same type of creative mind, okay? Um, and I say there's some sort of partnership involved here. Hey, it could be family members. It could be a love relationship. It could be your job. Take it as it resonates for you, but that's what I'm getting here, okay? You're an honest person, and you're always going to be honest about how you feel about things, and not everybody likes that, but you know what? That's okay. You're not living in my world, right? <laughs> Go live in your own. Alrighty then. We don't have to constantly disagree. We can uh, we can agree to disagree, and we can find peace in that. That's where I think that thing, that duality of your nature, comes into being, Scorpio. It's like you can be the person that's like, here's the truth. Like here's what the actual truth is. Here's the facts. Here's the here's the backup. Now what you do with that truth is your own thing. I'm not gonna be mad at you and hate on you because you don't want to do the truth. But it's like there could be people in your space that are like, well, if it's not my way, then blah 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 so tempers flare okay because there's there's a um differences there's differences amongst you and some of your friends or people like that right they think different from you which is fine because in your world you're like dude think what you want to think right scorpio is all about transformation it's a very open deeply spiritual <laughs> you know, um, sign to me and we're moving into the Scorpio energy here. So for some, for some other people, it's just like, well, if you're not like me, like, what do I want with you? You know, where Scorpio is like such a dynamic individual, whoever I'm picking up on, you can vibe with anybody, right? It's like, uh, uh, you know, 
it's like Leo, right? I'm a Le I'm actually a Leo too, so I get that energy of like being able to vibe with whoever, but you might have some people here that just aren't like that around your space. And these could be the people that are very jealous of you and trying to get one up on you, right? They're just trying to climb to the top. And you're just like, yo, I'm Scorpio. I don't need to climb up nobody's back to get anywhere. I already got everything I need, son. Okay? Or sir or madam. All right? Temperance with the Six of Pentacles. For some time, a uh, financial situation may have been out of balance here. There may have been more of you giving into a situation and others taking from you. But you're working really hard at something here, I feel like. Now... You know, whatever you're doing, Scorpio, you're being watched over, okay? So your spirit team, your guides, whatever, they got your back. I feel really good about that. But I feel like this is a change. So alchemy, right? Changing the lead to the gold. This is like, I feel almost like part of your purpose in life. I don't know why I'm even saying that, but I feel like this is part of your purpose in life. People come around you and they change when they're in your space, Scorpio, all right? There's been some unfairness going back and forth here. Maybe you haven't been very fair to yourself. Like, let's say you, you have a job and you're not getting the money that you deserve. Well, maybe you didn't demand what you deserve from the beginning. And now you're looking back at that like, shit, I do that. I do that thing. Okay, I do that thing. I sell myself short sometimes to make other people feel comfortable and happy. But you're in a learning process and you're in a healing process. So some of you are healing unbalanced things in your life, your mental stability, your spiritual stability, your physical life, your, you know, your um, finances, that kind of stuff. Okay. Now, I feel like some of you are so disappointed you have to walk away from uh, a situation where there was um, a partnership, money involved. Uh, a job some of you are leaving a job some of you are leaving people behind here five of cups three of pentacles ten of wands this is just bullshit it's too heavy it's too much energy right it's a huge disappointment with the five of cups you feel bad you might feel like you know guilty even walking away from the situation but look you're choosing yourself knight of cups okay you're choosing yourself you have this ability to believe in yourself okay Scorpio right now you have that energy to believe in yourself you trust you and if you can't be with people who are you know can agree to disagree then oh well time for Scorpio to walk away so for some of you this can actually represent a relationship maybe from your past that you're thinking about okay and go, kind of milling over how this was just not a very good match okay and learning something very important from this or some of you are in a relationship that you're walking away from because you're choosing yourself all right you're choosing to chase your creative passions you're seeing yourself in a different perspective you're seeing your value and your worth and if people don't value you respect you they always got to bring some dumb stuff up and create arguments and disagreements not your circus not your monkeys okay i think some of you might choose like in this walking away energy here from whatever's not working out whether it's a work situation creative project a love situation you're gonna heal yourself and love on yourself but i also feel like some of you might go towards somebody remember how i talked about a person from the past or somebody that you're thinking about you might actually start talking to this person like what do you think about going on a date with me right it's a possibility all right now i have two cards from the pre-shuffle i want to talk about here with um this is from the alice in wonderland okay the first one is keep your temper don't allow anger to rule you and we talked about that with this five of wands so some of you could feel really challenged like yo i'm about to go off spirit is saying don't go off keep t keep your temper right your temperance especially when it comes to money and people being unfair with you okay just be patient that's what temperance is all about it's keeping a certain temperature too it's like being cool like stay cool all right because Scorpio I know y'all could get mad I know y'all all right and then the other card we have here I wonder what will happen next ready to adventure 
precipice of change pause before action i feel like that's what this hanged man and this um queen of wands is all about it's about that that pause seeing things from a different perspective before we go into this um new thing right this new project a new you know dating period whatever it is okay you're on the verge of some sort of change here but it's going to take you coming to this realization right here and leaving the stuff behind these people and these things that are heavy the people that constantly disagree with you are always challenging you to be something that you're not or take you in different directions right this journey is your own you get one chance at this journey here in this life now, and that's a very important thing to keep in mind. So we have this one time, this one moment, you know, what will you make of it? That's the big question. So you have a really nice change coming in here, but this is about taking that pregnant pause before you step into something else, okay? It's reviewing, it's reviewing all of the the chapters of the book before saying okay this is what the book's about i'm about to wrap it up it was all right you know i'm gonna read a new book now right you guys get what i'm saying okay so this is a really beautiful read for you scorpio thank you so much for being here and allowing me to do this for you i hope some of this resonated for you if it did and you got a little nugget or something please go ahead touch the like button show your girl some love and if you really really like it please go ahead subscribe to this channel become part of the tribe hit the notifications button it will tell you every time i'm on here getting really super weird for you. All right, Scorpio, until November, I will see you very soon. Have a good Halloween. Bye.